all right guys so now we've been able to register the user now there are a couple of things we need to do before we head over to the next uh item one thing we want to do is when we register a user number one we want to set the login status to true so if you go to your odd slides <clears throat> excuse me okay so this set login here we want to set it to true to indicate that this user is logged in then also we want to set the name of that user all right so that's that's two things we're going to do then lastly we're going to navigate the user to the dashboard page so let me just import the um items i need for this uh okay so we're going to import use dispatch from redox and this is it right here so just make sure you import use dispatch then i'm also going to import use navigate so use navigate and that's also that's going to come from react router dom so i'll just hit enter on that and then we have that then lastly we're going to import the things we want to dispatch the actions we want to dispatch so one is set underscore login which we're going to set to true eventually the other one is set underscore name which we're going to set also aha so now i can come inside of this register function and then i'll just create a variable to navigate and to dispatch so here i'll say const and the first one will be maybe to dispatch and i'll set that to be equal to use dispatch then also we're going to do for use navigate so i'll just say use navigate and then i'll change this to navigate aha so we've created these two guys here we can use them uh you know what to keep things well i, can, I think i can leave them there all right so i'll just scroll down and where is my function yeah so this place where we do our try catch i'm going to first of all dispatch the set login so maybe i should comment out this data because i don't want to be saving i don't want to be logging into the console so i'll just say um await so i'm going to make it asynchronous and then i'll just dispatch the action so the first action i want to dispatch is to set login so set underscore login which i'm going to set to true so here i'll just point it and say true then another thing i want to dispatch is to set name so i'll just change this to name and then i'm just going to set it to the name we get from this uh, guy which is data dot name so data dot name and let me see if we still have it in our console let me just check the console if we still have the information there oh okay so i cleared it out no problem it's fine so i'll close this guy up and then we are sending the setting the name then the last thing we want to do is we want to navigate to the dashboard so here i'll just say navigate to forward slash dashboard dash board yeah so those are the three uh, things we want to do before we like move on in the project so uh, i'm just going to save this guy and in the next video we are going to create um the loading spinner so if you look at the projects in the demo we did whenever a user tries to log in or to register there's this loading spinner that you know is displayed and then after the process is complete then the loading is set to false and then you know you do something else so that's what we're going to build in the next video the loading spinner